happy Monday. Happy Monday. I'm so happy to see you. I missed you over the weekend. Oh, but I have been busy. I have been planning for the week. So even if I'm not on here with you guys, I'm thinking and, you know, coming up with ideas of different ways to teach. Again, this is new for me. I've taught art for many, many years, but this is a first to be teaching it online with you guys. So uh, I'm adjusting and adapting and we're just going with the flow day by day. So if you were here last week, I'm so happy. It's been a week. Last week was our first full five days. So now we're starting week two. If you're new, welcome. And if you're not, then you kind of get the idea of the way the time goes. We talk a little bit. Maybe sometimes I talk a little bit too much. And then uh, we practice. So yesterday I posted a few things. I did post a black and white printable starry night. Last week we talked about you being able, if you don't have a printer, tracing it from an iPad. If you have an iPad or a computer screen, you can bring up an image. I would go to Google Images and I would pull up an image and trace it on a piece of computer paper. Again, it's just an option. And then you can just practice coloring it however you choose. So this is Van Gogh's Starry Night. He was actually in his room on the second floor looking out. And again, just like the sunflowers, Van Gogh painted several versions of Starry Night. Sometimes he would go to the night cafe and he would paint the people and the sky swirling, or sometimes he would look at the water and the water swir swirling. So if you look at different paintings of Van Gogh, one, the first thing you're gonna notice are all the lines that Van Gogh used. Van Gogh expressed himself with thick, bold, heavy, expressive lines. So anyway, we're gonna practice the painting today and we're going to start so on this canvas on the back I just taped a piece of computer paper okay so it's just eight and a half by eleven if you guys want you can trace a few circles so if you want you don't have to you can just freehand it and practice I know I go fast last week when I was pulling you guys up on the screen actually Jen was pulling you guys up on the screen for me and I could see you were not as far as I was on the painting so I don't want to stay on here for two hours and paint with you guys I want you guys to you know take what I've taught you and take your time and do it it could take you all day it could take you you know as long as you want uh, so I know I go fast and I don't expect you to keep up with me but let's do a practice I'm using a black marker so you can see it you can use a pencil but if i used a pencil you guys would not be able to see it so i'm going to start with this big thing up front a lot of times people think that's a flame or fire it's not it's a cypress tree again it was a very expressive cypress tree so i'm just going to start think of it i want you to think of it like a triangle so it's pointing at the top and it gets wider at the bottom but it's not geometric. So it's got like these loose, you know, frilly ends. So I would, eh, you could start at the top if you want. You could make it go off the end of the paper or you can just bring it just below the end of the paper. So wider at the bottom, it tapers. It gets narrower at the top. Okay, so it kind of does look like a flame. That's where I would start. After I would do the cypress tree, we can do the moon. Now, a lot of people also think that that's a sun because it's so sparkly and golden. It's actually a moon. It's called Starry Night. So I would start with a circle. And if you want, you could just freehand a circle or you can find something, a glass, a cap to something, something circular. Okay, it can go off the edge of the paper. And then there's a crescent moon. So it's not a full moon, but it looks almost full because it's so round and glowing. So think of a C, okay? A C, it kind of, not a perfect C, but a crescent moon is like a C. <laughs> That's weird to do backwards. All right, so after I do that, see, I'm gonna go around and connect it. Okay, 
So there's my moon. Yours is going to look different than mine. I don't look at this one and this one don't even look exactly the same. So different. I got my moon. I got my cypress tree. Now with the wind, you know, not a lot of people have painted the wind. And how would you paint the wind? How would you paint the air? Again, Van Gogh's wind looks like waves in the sky. It's spectacular. So we know it was a windy night. It could have been called windy night. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the wind and I'm going to go through my tree, but I don't want to see the line. So I'm going to jump over my tree, jump over my tree. I'm going to go around like that. It's a swirl. So slightly down through my tree. And again, if you're using pencil, it's okay. You can erase your lines, but I'm just kind of making a curve. From the side, it almost looks like an S, okay? And then I'm going to do another one over here, more wind. So there's some wind. That gives you an idea. Now, the wind's pretty thick. You know, it really goes through the sky. So again, jump through your tree. Continue, swirl around. All right. Now, he also has mountains and hills, and they're just beautiful purples and blues. So here's like mountains and hills. Yours could be higher. They could be lower. Okay. There's like some, well, I don't want to do the shrubbery yet because let's do the little village. So in Van Gogh's little village, he has houses. He has a chapel with a steeple. So you can put in your little village whatever you want to. Think of basic geometric shapes like squares and triangles, rectangles. Okay. So I want you guys, again, you can do a little steeple if you want, which I would consider a long, narrow triangle. And a little square at the bottom. If you want to put a little cross on the top, you can put a little cross. If it's a little church, it doesn't have to be. Okay. And then you could do, so I have a little square and a little triangle. I'm trying to keep it simple. So you could also do a little house like that. Put as many little houses and buildings in your village as you want, okay? And this is just like the background, the shrubs, the bushes. There's more shrubs on this side. So look, if my hill's going through here, I'm gonna jump over the tree and finish it on that side. You guys can do this little babies. So stars are scattered. They're not in a row, okay? They're scattered in the sky. Imagine if you took a handful of something and you threw it in the air. That's what scattered is. So stars are scattered and they're not the same size. So you're gonna have some stars a little bit bigger and a little bit smaller. Actually, the largest star of Van Gogh's is right around here. They call it the morning star. I've heard some people say that it was actually Venus. I don't know, but you can look it up. You can wonder. So again, you can put your little baby stars wherever you want to. You can put in as many as you want to. Do your stars have to be circles? No. You could. I've seen people do, you know, where they do like little plus signs like that to make them sparkle. So again, make a star however you choose to do a star. I don't expect yours to look like mine or Van Gogh's. So that's just a practice. And again, you could have a coloring sheet if you only have crayons, use crayons. If you have colored pencils, use colored pencils. If you only have a plain pencil, you can learn to shade. That means you color hard with the pencil and light with the pencil. Just use whatever you have and fill the whole picture in. All right, so that's what I want to tell you guys about the practice. That's called our sloppy copy. Okay, and the other side is my plain canvas. So as a recommendation from my sister, who's also a teacher, Darcy, uh, in the background over there that I hung up on the back of my door, that's a, a version of Starry Night that I did. So I, I know it's a little bit hard to see, but I wanted to put something there so you can get the idea. I'm just I'm going to take this one down and put the finished one. And while you guys catch up, I just want to 
I'm going to talk for a minute. So um, tomorrow is Tropical Tuesday. Some people are on spring break right now. So I thought we would do something tropical. I did send you guys to my website and ask for recommendations. This one uh, came up a lot. So this is Tropical Tuesday. That's tomorrow. So I hope you can make it. If you can't, you guys, every video is recorded and it is on the Facebook page under videos and on YouTube, it's also there. So whether you're on Facebook or YouTube, you guys can do um, the recorded ones. So Tropical Tuesday, I'm ready for Tropical Tuesday, that's for sure, but we gotta do Van Gogh first. So back to Van Gogh, let's see what else I wanna tell you guys. I'm using acrylic paint, my canvas is 16 by 20. The layout is landscape or horizontal, okay? And remember on the practice, the sloppy copy, I started with the cypress tree. So again, you can start from the top or the bottom, wherever you feel comfortable. I'm gonna start at the top. Again, think about, you know, it's narrow at the top and then it gets wider as you work your way down to the bottom. And you can make a different kind of tree. It doesn't, we practiced trees last week. If you guys want to do a different kind of tree, do a different kind of tree. Okay, so there's my tree. After my tree, I'm going to do my, now let's see. Okay. Cleveland Browns duct tape, you guys. We love our Browns in Cleveland. Win or lose, okay? Win or lose, we're diehard fans. So this also makes a great tracer. So let's just say you want a perfect circle. You guys can use something that is in your house. I don't know what's in your house. I don't even know what's in my house, okay? So you gotta go on a hunt and look for stuff. That's half the time this weekend I spent Hunting my house for things. Oops, there goes my cat. So again, because my canvas is 16 by 20, I can use something this size. But if you're using a smaller canvas, then you would have to find something smaller. Maybe a cap to something, okay? This is a little bit smaller. Something round, a quarter. If you're using a small paper, find a quarter, okay? Again, I can't tell you because I don't know what size you're doing, but you can, or you could just draw a circle. I know you can draw a circle. So remember, inside the larger circle, there's a smaller circle. So I didn't do the whole circle on that one. Let's say you want to do the whole circle, which I'm going to do. Okay. Now it looks like a donut. Mm, I gotta go for it. I kind of like donuts. All right, especially with sprinkles. Mm. All right, but we're not going to talk about donuts. So. My donut is really my moon, but Van Gogh has a crescent moon. You can leave it a full moon. So I'm going to do crescent. Remember, it looks like a C. So I'm going to go like this and like that. There's my crescent. And again, you guys can catch up later. You can rewatch it. You can, you can't, I don't think you can rewind this, but, um, you can't, you can rewind it, you know, as you're watching it later. I don't think you can rewind a live video. You can on a DVR, but I'm not sure about the computer. All right, what did we do next? The next thing we did was the wind. So let's go to Van Gogh wind. Do you have to have wind? No, you don't have to have wind. I'm gonna do a wavy horizontal line, jump through my tree, a wavy horizontal line, and swirl, all right? Huh. And then how about another swirl down here? Swirl. Hmm. And maybe I'll do this. Swirl back up. Give it some wind. There. That's pretty expressive. Some expressive wind. We could do, let's make this one come down. Jump over the tree. It's your wind. Make it however you want. 
doesn't have to be like mine. Remember, the brightest star on Van Gogh's Starry Night is right around here. And he has like a baby star here. You could have a hundred stars, okay? However many stars you want. Just think, they're not in a row straight across. They're scattered. They can go off the edge of the page. Different sizes. All right. And then after that, remember, there's mountains. So it's like a wavy line, wavy, wavy, wavy. It looks like water. You could put water in yours. Let's do the chapel. You don't have to have a chapel. You could have whatever you want. Make it whatever kind of building you want. It doesn't have to be this shape either. So I'm going to do a triangle. After my triangle, I'm going to do a square. Now I'm drawing from the side, so it's pretty lopsided, but that's okay. Then I'm going to do a diagonal line and a diagonal line, horizontal line. Diagonal line, vertical, 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 horizontal. So it's really, really quiet here. I am not, I usually paint with, you know, music playing. I cannot do that on Facebook because of the copyright laws to the music. So if I were to play it, they would completely shut the sound off of this live video. Therefore, it's going to be quiet. Last week I said, Alexa, play music. <laughs> and actually some people's Alexa started playing music. So I thought that was very funny. And I just highly recommend that you guys, while you're doing this, listen to some music. It's very uh, calming and relaxing. And art is too. So don't get mad and stomp around the house if it doesn't come out the way you want. You know what you do, you do it again, and you do it again, and you do it again, and you just keep doing it, and you keep practicing, okay? So we're doing this together, we're learning as we go. All right, let's see, let's put some more horizontal wavy lines in the back, it could be shrubs, it could be mountains, jump over the tree, it could be whatever you want it to be. Don't go through your buildings. Don't go through the cypress tree. So the closest thing to us or to Van Gogh in his painting would be the cypress tree because it's the biggest. So when he was looking out the window, the cypress tree must have been pretty close. And then as things go back, they get smaller. So the village is farther away from the cypress tree. And again, you guys can add whatever. I'm doing another triangle roof and a square bottom. You could put windows in your building with little baby squares. More shrubs. If you're if you get stuck on something and you have a question, you guys ask each other. So down below, you just type away and ask somebody, what's she doing? I'm lost. I don't know what to do. And you guys answer, answer each other. So I want you to think as a teacher, when you have 25, 30 kids, you know, maybe more, the teacher can't answer everybody all at one time. So the kids help each other. That You help each other. And I'm going to ask you guys to do that, not even just within your home, but on the, you know, internet, as you guys type away and ask your question. And you answer it because I get distracted when I'm trying to answer it. Jen, who is my um, backup technology person, she is actually working right now. So she could not be in the background today. So as you guys work on this, I'll see if I can fiddle with the computer and see. Uh, let me see if I can. Wait, let me see. First, I want to ask you before I fiddle with that, I will try to bring you on live again. I just, Jen did it all last week, and I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm going to try, right? We're explorers, and we're going to try. So first, though, here's what I want to show you. 
Vincent van Gogh was a post-impressionist Dutch painter. So post-impression, there's impressionist painters. And this week we're doing Monet. Monet is an impressionist painter. What that means, it's a big word, but they would paint the, their impression of what they saw. So his impression of the colors, it was really a, a lot of beautiful colored dots. And Monet, unlike Van Gogh, Monet, everyone loved his artwork. It was very pastel and soft and beautiful colors. So he was an impressionist. And then post-impressionists, like Van Gogh, came after. Now Van Gogh, you know, again, they didn't like his artwork. His was more like this color and this color and this brush stroke and this brush stroke. Monet was like, Oh, look at this pretty lavender, light blue, and my beautiful pond. And so they have, you know, Monet was very popular, and Monet had money. Van Gogh was not popular, and he had no money. His brother supported him. So that is what he's called. You can find Starry Night. It's at MoMA. MoMA is in New York City. And MoMA is the Museum of Modern Art. I highly recommend. It's on your bucket list. When you have the opportunity to go, you should go to the museum and check it out. I will tell you, I was really surprised how small it was. So when we see, it's a little bit larger than this. I should have found the dimensions for you guys, but not much. And we see Starry Night so many times painted all over so many things. I assumed it was going to be huge. And then when I saw it, it was, you know, it, it was incredible. I, I loved it. It was just smaller than I expected. So I hear this. I have not seen the Mona Lisa, but I hear the same thing about the Mona Lisa. I heard it's much smaller when you get there. So, all right, let's see what other information I want to give you guys. Oh, here's a quiz. Let's see. Nope. Yeah. Starry Night is an oil painting on canvas painted in 1889. How many years ago was that? Now I got to see if I can figure out if I can find your com your comments. Hold on a sec. So how many years ago was it? You got to figure out how to find And don't ask your parents. You got to figure it out on your own. Alexa's playing music. That's awesome. Oh my gosh. Mary's Alexa's playing music. And Katie says hi from Ohio. And Colleen's from Chicago. Oh, the info. All right. Sorry, dude. Oh, sorry, guys. Hold on one second. Yes. You guys read each other's comments. I'm sorry that's covering the screen. Let me figure out how to go back and get it off. I'm exploring new territory. Hold on. Better? Okay. There you go. But see, when I do that, all right, you guys, when I do that, I can't read what you're writing. So I can't see if someone got the answer. Um, really, I was asking how many years ago did Van Gogh paint Starry Night? If he painted Starry Night in 1889, how many years ago was that? I'm going to pop check one more time and then we're going to start painting. All right, I see Tasha got it. B. Jones got it. Shelly got it. Christy got it. Laura got it. Kelly got it. Oh, we got some math people out there. Denise got it. <laughs> oh. Let's see who else got it. Rick, you are off by one. Amber got it. Leah got it. Brian got it. Emily got it. Good. All right. You guys are good at math. Amy got it. Okay. One more time and then we're going to start painting. Here's your answer. If you said 131 years ago, you were right. So you guys were doing math. We're doing math. I got to practice that math. All right. But we're, we're working on it. So, all right. So you ready to paint? Who's ready to paint? So Van Gogh used oil paint. When I was, I went to arts, I went to the Cleveland Institute of Arts and we used oil paint there. I love oil paint. The, it, it takes a really long time to dry. So that means you can work on something for weeks and it would not dry. Like you would keep the blending and stuff. It is uh, something that you have to use turpentine with. So it's not great for your lungs. I do think that they have new stuff out there now, but I'd stick to acrylic. It's non-toxic uh, paint and it's permanent paint. 
and you don't need turpentine, you just use water. So I'm using acrylic paint. I am gonna start with a round brush. So it's not that big square one that I always use. I'm using round. I like to paint from light to dark. So if I were gonna tell you I was gonna paint this in from light to dark, what would I use first? Well, white is on there, yellow is on there. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna do the moon and all the stars, okay? And I'm gonna use that round brush and I'm gonna use yellow. And I gotta see if this yellow shows up on the screen. Kinda. So I know it's a little, so lighter colors are hard to show up here. But again, we're practicing. I tried to rearrange the room a little bit so you could see a little better. Right, circular brush strokes, round and round you go. You can put little dots of, you know, little yellow circles for your, I'm gonna use the darker yellow just so you can see it better. Can you see that one better? That's a little bit darker. Put stars wherever you want. I didn't put a star and there wasn't even a line there, so. Coloring your stars. And I would do, so that seed, the crescent, I would do that a deeper yellow, maybe like a macaroni and cheese yellow. So you want to see the sea, that crescent moon inside your big circle. So I'll do it over here. This is, this is that macaroni and cheese. And then the rest of it would be lighter, like it's glowing. So that's supposed to be the moon glowing. And again, you would color all these little circles in. Let me see if I can remove that banner. I know someone said that they couldn't see with the banner in the way. Sorry guys, I don't know how to stop the banner. So that's all right, you guys can see enough. All right, so let's see. After I did that, we can do the um, wind. So you don't wanna take this yellow brush and dip it into your blue or your white because then if I did this, if I, I don't like to wash my brush a lot, but if I took this brush and dipped it into the blue, what color would I get on here? I have a magic screen, I can hear you. Yes, green, green, green. You don't want green. You can have green later if you want, but not for the wind, because the tree is gonna be green or brown. And you wanna have the contrast, you wanna see the difference. So I want you guys, if you have you know that dirty yellow on your brush, wash it off and just take maybe some white and some blue. Now the wind is gonna be lighter, a lighter blue. So you could just start filling it in. I just got a blob of paint on my wall. This is gonna be my new paint room, you guys. All right, so start filling it in with like a light blue, which would be blue and white, and follow the line. So you want your wind to follow the line. It makes it more expressive. Go around your tree. Make it as light as you want. If it starts to look like a wave in the ocean, that's good. That's, that's what Van Gogh's looks like. Looks like a big wave. A wave in the sky. So in Cleveland today, it's pretty gray. In the 40s, that's chilly. The daffodils started coming up. The buds on the trees are bigger. If you guys have been looking at the little buds on your trees or the leaves, are they getting bigger? 
Well, if you're in Cleveland, they should be. If you're in Australia, they should be shrinking. So it depends on where in the world you are. I had someone messaging me this morning from Australia, which is pretty cool. Around the world, you guys, it's amazing. If you don't know how to put pictures on the Facebook page, it is Artist at Heart Paint Party, and it says check-in. Click the check-in, and you can post your photos and your comments. Okay, so there's some of my wind. And again, I'm not mixing the color on the plate. I'm mixing it right on my canvas because that looks cool. You see that? You see, it's just mixing right on the canvas. You can see the brush strokes and the lines and the light blue. And in some areas, it's whiter. You don't have to keep up with me. Remember, if you were watching this last week, you know you can go back and you know watch it again. So there's some fun wind. I'll do this one real quick. Up to you how light you make it. You want to make it pastel, that's a lot of white and a little color. Brush stroke follows the direction of your line. All right, so there's our swirls in our sky. Very cool. I forgot to do this one. Since now I'm doing two paintings, which I don't usually do, but Today, I guess I'm going to. All right, you get the idea, right? So let's do, let's just jump to our tree. Now your tree, if you guys look at Van Gogh's, it's got a lot of dark browns and deep reds, and that's why a lot of people think it looks like fire. So, and it goes up. So that means your brush stroke should be going up, wavy and thick. Uh, I'm gonna do my green, because you're going to be able to see it better on the screen. But again, you could do a black, you could do it, whatever color you want. So I want you guys to, I'm still using the round brush today. Today is my round brush day. Um, I'm just going to use green and I'm going to use vertical brush strokes and fill up your tree. Now your wind is still wet. So if you bump into it, you're going to get that color in there. But that could look really cool. So green. or brown or red. And I would definitely throw some yellow in there, which I'm gonna do in a minute. All right, so I hope you guys had a decent weekend. I'm hoping that you were exploring your house and creating collages and paintings and, you know, thinking a little, think outside the box. I don't know where my box is. Think outside the box. Were they I hope you were doing that this weekend. So again, there's my tree that's just plain green. So I think it's a little bit boring. So I'm just going to take a goop of yellow. Okay, and I'm just going to put some wavy lines in there. Now, what I didn't tell you guys, is, and I guess I should have last week, if you have a lot of paint on your plate, which I tend to put a lot on, you can always cover your plate with aluminum foil or saran wrap or even another plate if you put a plate over the plate, and then that way you can keep it for the next day. So sometimes I like scoop it back in the bottle, but that you know ends up being a mess. So just cover your plate. If you have too much paint on there, don't throw it away. Don't waste it. You don't need new paint for tomorrow for our Tropical Tuesday. You can use the same paint, just um, cover it up. Because when it dries, 
it almost turns to a plastic similar to Elmer's glue. I know you've tried this where you cover your hands with Elmer's glue and then you peel it off. Uh, acrylic paint is similar. It's If it's thick enough, you can peel it off. So how's your tree coming? Is it good? It's called a cypress tree. And again, make it as dark as you want to, as light as you want to. So the part around the stars and the moon and everything else, I would use a darker blue, again, to give it contrast. So use, and if you don't do it in the order that I'm doing it, it's okay. So I'm just gonna show you guys. So look, I painted the tree over there. I haven't painted the tree on this side yet. It doesn't matter if it's a secret, it doesn't matter. I'm just trying to keep it simple for you guys. But the background, the part around the wind, so we want the wind to, you know, again, it's very cool. But the part around it, you want it to show up. So you want to use a darker blue. And you would do the rest of the sky in a darker blue. Just so that the wind doesn't disappear. So this is a really dark blue, almost like a navy. Could you use purple? Purple would be good. Could you use black? Black would be good. What I haven't told you also, I haven't mentioned, I like to paint the sides of my can the canvas like around the edge because I think it looks better, uh, but I haven't mentioned that yet. So again, if you don't have a canvas, it's okay. I This is my job. I mean, I have a thousand canvases in my garage, so I don't expect you guys to have a house full of canvas. Just use whatever you have. But if you do have canvas, I would recommend that you paint the edge of it. Now, if you bump into the yellow, while it's wet, remember you're going to get green. Are you going to have a meltdown? No, because it actually looks cool. So here I made a, a smudge of green. And I, if I wait for it to dry, that means I have to be patient. I know you're all great at being patient. Uh, you have to let it dry and you can go over it later. But again, I think half the time my mistakes look pretty cool. And no one knows your mistakes but you. It's true. You think you know, you, oh, so many people go, come here and help me, help me, look. And I'm like, what am I looking at? I can't even find your mistake. But to them, it's just like, it's right there, it's right there. Oh my goodness. Just keep going, keep going, keep going. So I hope some of you were able to find, you know, books of, uh, about Van Gogh. The libraries online, I'm sure have like uh, Camille and the Sunflowers. I know a lot of libraries online have free things you guys can use. School library, your city library. There's all kinds of resources out there, all kinds. Now, so anyway, you get the idea. Let's just pretend that the whole background's blue because I feel like it's so quiet. Because All right, so I just want to give you guys some more ideas about the Starry Night painting. So the whole background is going to be dark blue, around the stars, around the wind. These hills can be purple. I'll keep going in a minute. But what I want to show you is you guys can create uh a little village out of paper. You don't have to paint it. You don't, ha you don't have to draw it. You could just do a collage. Like last week, we talked about collage. Collage is cutting and pasting the paper together. So you can cut out a rectangle and a triangle out of whatever color paper you have, or you can color the paper. You could add windows. So this is actually just glued on there. With I used a glue stick, okay? Or you can use Elmer's. It's tag word, so if you use uh, regular computer paper and Elmer's, it's gonna buckle. So you can use a glue stick. But anyway, so you can use construction paper or whatever kind of paper. So here's my, I made a little 
baby house for you guys to see. So this is just, again, a little bit of tag board. You can all, and I did the marker uh, windows and a little marker door, and you can make a little door that opens. Okay, so I just cut it so my little door opens. Look at that, hello guys, happy Monday, yay, happy Monday. So, bye. Oh, it's backwards on the screen, it's so weird. So there's a little baby house, you could put a little chimney on it. Okay, you can put a person somewhere, whatever you want, or you can cut it. You could do the same thing with your windows. You can make your windows open and close just by cutting. So all I did was I cut, I drew a square and then I just cut part of it so that the other part is still there. And you could just put whatever you want to on the inside. So that's an example of creating a collage that you can add to a painting. Just an idea, just a thought. Think outside the box, right? All right, let's go back. I'll put some more blue on. So I asked you guys last week to go to my website, or I think it was over the weekend. I asked, hey, what do you want to do next week? And so, so many of you guys responded. And what I did was I tried to, uh, you know, go with the ones that I had the most responses, like the tropical tree for Tropical Tuesday. And I had a lot of other requests too, don't get me wrong, but I tried to get the most. And we're gonna go one day at a time, but I'll probably do, just keep doing this till you guys go back to school. I look forward to it too, I have fun. This is, this is all new for me and I really enjoy it. I, it it's, you know, um, part of my daily schedule. I think it's really, really important to be on a schedule. And this is my noon, you know, and then I spend the weekend getting ready for the next week. So I, as of right now, I plan on doing this with you guys until you get sick of me. So we'll just keep exploring and coming up with new things together. And what I'm gonna ask you to do is pay it forward, do something kind. And if you guys could uh, share this, please with your friends and family, share artists at heart paint party, tag the photo so that people can see your awesome artwork. I mean, it's really amazing. I would just really, you know, ask that you check in and post it. That's the best way. And you can see everybody else's at the same time. You can also learn from each other. Maybe someone posts something you say, Oh my gosh, how did you make that? That's great. You know, you guys have been so loving and so kind all last week, all over the weekend. So I, I, you know, I really didn't know what to expect last week. I taught last week pretty quick. I was trying to teach you guys a lot of stuff in a short period of time because I just wanted to fill your, you know, your brain with as much knowledge as I possibly could in a short period of time so that you could go on your own and explore. And now, you know, I'm, again, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. I hope you are, and I'm just gonna keep doing it. So learn and launch. If you can't make it at noon, Eastern Standard Time, you can you know rewatch it later, but it is fun to go live. I mean, it's fun to do it with us live. So again, I'm using a darker blue here to make my wind stand out. Don't paint over your stars, paint around your stars. And you can be any age to do this, okay? Any age. I know I act silly sometimes, but I act silly sometimes. Oh, that's just part of my personality. So you could be any age and do this and give it a try. Too quiet. Alexa, I hope you're still playing. Alexa, still play music. I don't have an Alexa, you guys. <laughs> All right, so you get the idea, right?
So I got a little green there because I bumped into my yellow. It's all right. It makes it more interesting. So again, I, if I didn't do my tree, it's all right. You know, you can do it whenever. There's really no order to it. All right. I'm going to show you some more ideas. So last week I talked to you guys about you can print stuff off from the printer. You go to Google free images. You can print them out, especially the silhouettes. Now, if you wanted to, you could do the same thing on Starry Night. So my grizzly bear just happens to be sitting next to my computer table. This is just a little grizzly bear I printed out on um, cut him out. Or he's going backwards. <laughs> can you guys see him? So could I put a grizzly bear in my starry night? Of course you can. Okay, you can add whatever you want here. So I was doing, um, I like to use the starry night background on a lot of things that I do. So I have my little Irish dancers and they're in the background with starry night and I put some musical notes there. All right, it's just to give you an idea. Now, so a copyright, I'm talking a lot about copyright on music and how Facebook can block out the sound because someone has the rights to that music. Well, someone has the rights to Snoopy too, Char uh, Charles Sh Schultz. He is, um, I just love Snoopy. And I did a Snoopy Starry Night. Um, and again, you can do this, you just can't sell it. and. I wouldn't do it on here because Charles Schultz has the right to it. So I just don't want to, I don't really know a lot about it other than I cannot sell this. So, but you could do it. And again, it's free. I mean, I used to copy cartoons all the time as a kid. So uh, you guys can do something like that. Put Snoopy in your starry night if you want to. So this one is a portrait layout, which means it, the canvas is vertical up and down. I'm just trying to give you guys ideas. I'm not encouraging you to copy stuff, but it's a way to practice and to learn and to explore. Some of you guys may know what this is. It's a castle. I'm just going to say it's a castle. Okay. It's a castle with a starry night background. Some of you guys might know what this is. Okay. Again, different layout flying through the sky. Mm. All right, that's just, wait, is there one more? Yeah, here's one more. And I just want, if you guys don't know what that is, that's good. They're probably really, really strict. I know they're really strict. But if you don't know who, who that is, it's, Harry Potter, Harry Potter. So, uh, yeah, Harry Potter. Here's another. All right, you guys, it's Hogwarts, it's Hogwarts. But again, I'm not gonna teach you exactly Hogwarts, I'm just inspiring you to come up with other ideas because Starry Night Background is so fun and just, it's very recognizable and it's very expressive and just, you know, a very cool thing to do. So you just use your imagination and try a lots of different ways. So if you guys look at the finished one in the background, I really left the buildings white and gray and you know, I did dark green in here. You don't want to use dark, you know, a, a light green with the tree cuz you won't be able to see it. So I'm just going to keep going. I forgot to put purple on mine, but use whatever colors you have. This one right here is like a purple It's okay. Use whatever you have. I'm going to do mine green. And you can always pull up the image and, um, you know, look at it as you're doing it. So I'm using green and these are like hills and again in Van Gogh's it's like a deep purple.
browns. You could do brown. Let's see. I'm gonna make a lighter green here. So all I do is take green and I put some yellow in it. I'm make sure I'm not blocking. So if I were going to do a collage, what I could do is paint this entire thing, just paint it green or brown, and then you make your little buildings and glue them on after the paint is dry. Uh, you could do it on while the paint is dry, but if your paper is really thin, the paint might bleed through. That means go through it. So I would just wait for it to dry and glue it on. And again, you could do it while it's wet. If you're using tag board, you could do it while it's wet. It won't go through tag board. Tag board is thicker paper. It loves to get stuck in my computer printer. Use whatever colors you want. So look, the green is going to blend into my background, so I'm going to put a little black in my tree to make it stand out from my ground. My brush stroke is following the direction of my line. My tree is growing vertical. It's growing up. So my brush stroke is going vertical. I hope you guys are checking in, checking with your photos. Even if you have a photo from last week or right now, um, if you guys are painting and you have me on the screen next to you, post that. You don't have to be done to post the photo. So hit the check in button and then post a photo. And your buildings, again, color your buildings any color you want to. And while you guys are working on that, I'm gonna see if I can figure out how to get you on the screen, okay? So bear with me for one second. Let's see if I can work on this. Okay, so uh, Jen walked me through it this morning, but please share live stream. Uh, hold on one sec. First, let's do this one. So check in at Facebook with a photo. And again, it could just be you create, not just, but it could be you creating your artwork. I'm gonna to try to not block the painting. Hmm. And then she created a um, 
a link. I gotta figure out where it is, you guys. I really wanna bring you on screen today. Where'd it go? <laughs> hmm. Hey Jen, where's the where's the link to show so they can come on screen with me? Hold on, I'll, I'll get it. Oh, I can't hear you. Okay. Whew, perfect timing. <laughs> Sorry, I'm. So you guys have to click the link that's about, there you go. You have to click that. And then um, we have a, like a green room and you'll pop up down there and you can come on the screen and show us what you're doing. So what I'd like to know is where you're located and what you're working on. There's Bailey and Benjamin. Bailey, ben hi, Bailey. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Where are you at? Perrysburg, Ohio. Perrysburg, Ohio. Welcome. Thanks for doing Starry Night. You having fun? Yeah. Excellent. Come back tomorrow. Okay. Bye. How about Benjamin? Hi. Hi. Welcome. Thanks for doing Starry Night. You having fun? Yeah. Excellent. I like Come it so tomorrow. much. Thanks. How about Benjamin? Hi. Welcome. Thanks for doing Starry Night. Just a reminder <laughs> to everybody, if you come on, you have to make sure you turn the sound off on your computer, okay? If you come on, you have to make sure you turn Bring in your the own. sound off on your computer, okay? Hi. If you come on, you have to make sure you turn the sound off on your computer, okay? Bring in your own. Hi. Hi. Bring in your own. Wow, that came out great. Where are you? Oh, that's okay. You guys try to remember, where are you at? Tell us where you're from. Hi. <laughs> Surprise. You guys, say hi. 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 Wow, hi. that came out great. Where are you So if you guys come on, turn your volume down, and then um, it'll broadcast easier. So I guess that's about it for today. What do you think? Tomorrow is Tropical Tuesday. You can even wear your tropical clothes. Oh, we got a, a couple more. You want to do Elliot? Tomorrow Tropical Tuesday. You can even wear your tropical clothes. Hi, Elliot. Tomorrow is Tropical Tuesday. She said hi. hi. Are you having fun? I think that's good. So tomorrow's Tropical Tuesday. Maybe you wear some tropical clothes, okay? You can wear your flip-flops, wear whatever you want to. Please spread the word and share it with your friends and family and join me again. And uh, we'll, we'll go, don't be afraid of the camera, you guys. I had to get over it. So join us again tomorrow at noon Eastern Standard Time, all right? Thank you so much. Bye.